Okay, dah, dah live eh? <laughs> okay. Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. So first of all, uh, I would like to welcome uh, you all to our webinar session today. Okay, so before we begin, let me roughly introduce our speaker background. Okay, so our respected uh, speaker today is uh, Mr. Muhammad Salfi Rahmat. Okay, and he is the head of robotics, internet of things and big data in uh, Smart Manufacturing Research Institute uh, from University Technology Mara Shah Alam. Okay, my former yeah. university. <laughs> okay, and apart from teaching, uh, Mr. Salfi is actively involving in many research projects related to cybersecurity and for your information. Uh, previously, he, uh, he is uh, co collaborating with uh, Cybersecurity Malaysia, CSM, in designing a new encryption scheme. Right, Mr. Salfi? Yes, yes. Oh, Chili Padi. Chili Padi. <laughs> yeah, so it was such a great uh, achievement, I believe. And I also believe that our uh, webinar session today, titled uh, Cyber Security for IR 4.0 Plus, so later on, uh, Mr. Salfi will explain why the name for uh, the talk is uh, IR 4.0 plus. Okay, so he is the right person to share his knowledge and experience in this topic. Okay, um, and we know that uh, the importance of uh, cybersecurity in this area, especially during uh, this uh, pandemic period, which, which we know that almost everyone are working from home and also our uh, current lifestyle is moving fast forward uh, into the digitalization era where everything is done via online. So uh, cybersecurity plays a very important role in this era to protect our uh, data privacy and so on. So without uh, further ado, I would like to welcome our speaker to deliver the presentation. So uh, Mr. Salfi, you can start uh, the sharing session now. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Thank, thank you, Miss, Mrs. Nabila. Uh, do you see my slide, Nabila? Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay, Cik. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, uh, thank you, Masa University, for inviting me. Uh, for this uh sharing session. Uh, this uh, I hope this will be a uh, good session for us to. Uh, give some insight and discussion. So I hope, uh, although this is being done online on the broadcast uh, base in the YouTube and Facebook, I hope we still can uh, communicate and uh, give some feedback. Uh, because this topic is very broad and uh, there are a lot of angle we can see the cybersecurity for industry revolution. Uh, okay, I'm Sofi Rahman. I am from UITM Shah Alam, uh, heading the IoT, Robotic and Big Data in SMRI. So uh, we are Smart Manufacturing Institute. Basically, we are a combination of multiple engineering areas, uh, including electrical, electronics, uh, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, and civil engineering, doing many things across engineering field. Uh, but we are focusing our forte is on the smart systems. So, uh, so today I will be share some thought and some views and some angles that I can collect from this very broad and very huge topic. Uh, basically, for student, uh, this is good opportunity uh, for you to get my experience, share my experience, and also uh, get some broader view from the topic that we are discussing. So cybersecurity for IR 4.0 plus. Okay. So uh, firstly, uh, first I I would like to um, introduce the term that I I put plus in in the back of 4.0. Uh, what I mean by plus is uh, is a new variant, new variant for IR 4, which is uh, plus the pandemic. Because this the with the uh, pandemic that come to us, uh, it pushed the revolution to the next level. Uh, so who who expect that this talk will be held in in remote 
for me in Punjajaya and the rest of the uh, Nabila in 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 uh, her place, uh, but uh, we still can communicate. We can still can share something that beneficial to us. So this is the plus because the normal I I four point zero the usual I four point zero that we heard uh, five years ago, ten years ago, uh, is uh, is the storm is the revolution that push our factories our cities our smart meters our farm our plantation our home to be connected and automated and digitized connected not just connected uh not just automated so when every our physical things is connected so they uh they can be automated they can be digitized. So in the digitized form, you know that our world is in the form of analog, right? Analog. Our the Allah created us in the analog form, but the machine, the the computer system digitize it. Then uh, we create the synchronization, the rhythm, the combination, the integration in the digitized form, and that's uh. Uh, that's the usual 4.0. But with 4.0 plus, not only everything of the physical world is connected and automated, plus our schools, our office, and children also being put in the digital, digital world, be combined in the digital world. So this is not just a usual 4.0 definition, but it comes with other things also, the education. My children is have uh, classes throughout the days, and the younger sisters, two years old, is playing also with us while I'm uh, working, and while their sibling is uh, studying, and my wife also working. So, and the the degree of the revolution is being multiplied with this pandemic, and is. It makes more wilder, wilder revolution, wilder revolution. I, I can say wilder revolution, and be, and this this bring new dimension in the not in the cybersecurity, but bring new dimension in the computing itself. In, Sorry, in, uh, Sir Safi. Yeah. Uh, uh, boleh buat print uh, ni tak? Current view punya slide show tak? Sorry. Yes, yeah, this is slide show. Oh yeah, ke? Do you see so, my slide? Tak, yes, was, yes. Tak full slide, tak full view. Tak full view, okay. Ah, uh, do you do you see my slide? Do you see uh, my slide? I can see your slide, but it is not full screen. Ah, uh, is it now full or not full screen? Ah, uh -uh, ah, yeah. Okay, it's okay. Ah, uh, I will I will change to PDF. Okay, I will change to PDF. Maybe oh, okay. maybe mm -hmm. it will get better better views because yeah, somehow because the viewers I'm, want to see your slide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because I'm on I'm on Linux. Something this is oh, the okay. the things that that usually happen in the in the online session. Like okay, never mind, never mind. It's okay. Okay. okay Share mind. screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is my? Okay. Nampak tak? Ah, uh, belum lagi. Do you see the full screen? Uh, no. Tak nampak eh. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, share. Stop screen. Share screen. No. Uh, okay, I back to word. Uh, I back to um, now. Nampak tak? No pun tak nampak. Tak nampak slide eh? Yeah. Hmm. Stop screen. Stop screen. Okay. I share again. Mm -hmm. uh, share screen. Share screen. Okay. Okay. No. Nampak? Nampak tak my slide? Not yet. Not yet. Nampak tak? Okay, Nampak tak? 
Tak nampak cik. Okey 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 jap 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 macam mana ni? Hmm. Uh, Kalau macam tu proceed je lah. Oh jap jap ayo. Saya saya share screen. Uh, yes. Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, you yang share screen. So I will I will I, I will send the the slide to you. Uh -huh. uh, I think Sir Safi already shared with me right? No no ah uh, no no ah uh, oh, already okay. Yeah. Uh, they are the, a man. The they are... Okay, okay, okay. 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 okay, sorry, sorry for the... No, no, it's okay. Okay. Uh... Okay. Okay, uh, for the time being, I... Uh... So, uh, we are in this time. We are in this time where the, the usage of computer is very extreme i can say because uh when all the people in the house is holding a gadget so uh like me the, my youngest two years old also want to see the gadget because everyone else is using the gadget so the dependency and the and the relation us with the computer is in the next level so that's why the cyber security issue is very very important now and uh, uh, and so uh, for me that involved a lot in a lot of 4.0 related stuff uh, for the project so uh, the cybersecurity issue is very serious and real for us so uh, so saya tengok slide saya slide yang saya share can you see the my my screen tak nampak no tak nampak okey sekejap uh -huh. ya tak nampak ya Tak nampak, tak nampak. Hmm. Tak nampak, I just nampak muka Nabila je. Ya ke? Sekejap saya stop sharing. Safi nampak? Tak. Ah tak, ya? uh, tak nampak. Ah uh, just nampak muka Nabi. Uh, okay. Okay, Masih tak nampak ya? Tak. Sekejap. Sekejap saya. Okay. Uh, sorry for the audience that uh, uh, the gangguan so i will start Cik tadi saya nampak slide uh, Cik. Nampak? Okey, okey, okey. Saya saya share the whole screen. Entire uh, screen. Okey. Okey. Nampak slide saya? Ya, yeah, nampak. Yes. Nampak, okey. Okey, welcome back, welcome back. Iklan sikit. Kita ada iklan sikit bukan <laughs> nak bagi, nak hilang ngantuk. Okey, okey. Uh, so, okey. Uh, you see the slide? Nampak tak, Amila? Uh, nampak tapi dia macam presenter view right? Presenter view? Uh -uh. Okay not the okay 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 Sebab saya guna dua Dua 
Nampak? Or still the presenter view? Uh, still the presenter view, Cik. Okay, it's okay. Okay, okay tak apa, tak apa. Okay. Uh, nampak? Yang ni cun, Cik. Boleh lang macam okay. ni. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Kita, kita start balik. Okay, kita start balik. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, come back. Uh, come back to us. Okay. Uh, ada glean sikit biasa lah. Uh, okay. So, kita kembali ke sini. So, kita sekarang ni saya define sebagai 4.0 plus because with the we are we are on the way to the to the revolution so for me i'm building the reban ayam kampung digital reban ayam kampung i'm building the uh, the plantation the palm oil plantation system i interfacing with the uh, aquaculture system all that is the normal 4.0 but sekarang now we we the, with the pandemic it become 4.0 plus so this is this will bring new dimension in defining security or safety in our cyber world. So that's why I define this with the 4.0 plus. Okay. Okay. So this is the recent attack uh, to my server. <laughs> to my server. So I'm doing the Reban Ayam Kampung. So we are we are we are migrating the traditional I, uh, Reban Ayam Kampung into the smart one. And future will we go into the autonomous Reban. So this is my my personal uh, ambition for the food security, because although they are they are uh, how what degree of pandemic, in the what level of disaster we are in, we still need food. So food security in my is my current focus to provide better uh, system for us to grow our own food. So this is the attack that uh, happened to me last April, April, last April, just few months back. So uh, you can see that the the database is being hijacked and the few of the database is being taken away. Uh, so this is so the data on the smart farming, my my uh, coop. Chicken coop is being taken. Uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, I didn't uh, connect the output to the system yet. So, uh, because the actual system will control the door, the blinds, the door for the chicken to move from indoor and outdoor. Because this is ayam kampung. Ayam kampung supposed to be free. Ayam kampung supposed to be uh, be active and uh, free uh, but uh, unfortunately I don't link the system with the output yet. You can imagine uh, what, what what will happen if I put the system to to enable the connection with the door so the, ch the chicken will be free. The, the attacker can control the door, the attacker can control the water feed system the attacker can control the lighting, the fan speed. The attacker can control the blinds. So, uh, and the, the attacker can can get into the AI system that uh, enable the health analysis, health and movement analysis of individual chicken. So, uh, you can imagine the degree of disasters that can happen if uh, this kind of attack happen again with the full blown system with the full-blown 4.0. So, uh, this is the real thing that happened to me, to my side and my student side. So, the, the data is stolen and asked for ransom. Later, we will, we will look into the uh, colonial pipeline that uh, ransomware that happened last month. And the payment is in Bitcoin and use or network, use anonymous network. So, this is the real technical uh, issues that uh, become a threat, the real threat to our, not, not only traditional uh, computing system that we used to uh, eat, but to the new, the new system, new computing system, the new uh, cyber physical system. Okay, so uh, I opened the talk with uh, capturing back my experience with this. This is the real thing that happened to me. Uh, and the data is uh, totally wiped out. 
uh, although the the sensor value is not so important but the the thing that happened to me is very important to be experienced by anybody and uh, everybody so, so did okay. you pay to them uh, no 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 uh, because uh, we are, we are we are we are just testing the the communication between the uh-huh. the sensors and the data so uh, on the way to to KL uh, i feel feel tak sedap hati lah uh, so i mm-hmm. i check i check the database uh, through my phone through through uh, the command line in the phone so and i i get this so uh so this is the real things that are happening so this is the wake up call for us at the, the practitioners the academician the researchers to to increase our knowledge and uh patch up our system okay so uh okay uh, i have a few statistics in the recent years recent years mean in the pandemic years 2019 late of 2019 2019 it to until now 2021 so so this is random random google there are 70 percent increase in us cybercrime and 31 percent uk phishing account uh, amount of affordable activity originating from mobile device increased by 25 percent so uh amount of fraudulent payment transistor uh transaction from mobile increased by 70 percent so this is logically is acceptable and true because people are staying at the home people are on their, their on their mobile phones so and and the the expert hackers or amateur hackers or script kiddies kids hackers also exploring something in the mobile uh, in the cyber world so uh okay this is a good uh real case that you can uh you can refer online this is colonial pipeline cyber attack in 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 us so 7th uh, may this year there's some attack cyber attack hit colonial pipeline computerized equipment that managed the pipeline so ransom value of 75 bitcoin cost 4.4 million paid to the hackers in exchange to decryption tools so the hackers yeah this is this like uh like you are encrypting something like like you are encrypting the using the symmetric encryption like aes you have a data and you have a key so the the attackers uh the attacker encrypt your data and keep the key keep the key so uh if you want the key you need to pay so that uh, after that you can decrypt back your data to get the original plan text that's the be- the basic idea so it was the largest cyber attack on all and gas uh its infrastructure in us history and the attacker also stole nearly 100 gigabyte of data to push the the company to pay it faster so uh we are also in this year also their relation they are uh, struggle in Palestine that uh, also trigger the cyber security. So this I I related uh, I relate it with the geopolitics because uh, this is the new battlefield. Cyber world is the new battlefield for us and uh, cannot escape from the country relation and the political relation. So recent uh, recent tension in Palestine trigger active cyber attack between both parties. This brings the next level of cyber security defense of both parties to, to, to that level so uh this also cause or cause extra precaution precaution to the country so this is uh the another angle of cyber security that we need to care about okay so uh beside that uh i'm also concerned about the the degree of cyber physical system like um the one that happened last month in the mrt train uh we are still waiting for the we are still waiting for the report official report from the prasrana however this these things might happen to any of the physical base system our critical infrastructure because the the you can see there are three part in this in this uh in this diagram 
the field level that consists of electromechanical, electrochemical uh, interfacing system, their transponder, their actuators, their sensors, their controllers that interface between electrical and mechanical, electrical and chemical, electrical and other, uh, other type of sciences. So this is the one that interfere or interface with the physical system. So and the next part is the server level. Server level is basically is a normal computer system that we are we are used to it. However, the difference between cyber physical system with the purely cyber system is they are controlling the physical world. They are controlling the real things, the things that come to us, the things that are mechanical things that touch us, affect us. So, uh, so the cyber physical system with a mechanism that controlled by computer-based algorithm is increased. So this is the real thing, the real cyber security that, that are attacking us, attacking and threatening us. Okay, so uh, next thing is the, with the super complex interaction between computer system and the physical world, it makes the computer system itself becoming more complex, super complex. So for me, that have experience working with uh, encryption system in the microprocessor in the system on chip with Intel before. I can see that I can say that the the real security system is more complex than what we can imagine. Even the Intel researchers, security researchers cannot define, cannot, cannot simply confident that the system is fully secured. So this is the level of craziness of the security system that we have now. Because the normal uh, computer system, so I can see, I can show you the, the degree of the system that we are having. So we have Raspberry Pi, so we have uh, we have uh, IoT platform. So this is a degree of complexity. Even the simple chips like this also also uh, consists of maybe around five hundred thousand gates. So even from the microelectronics level, people are hacking. People are doing uh, side channel attack. People are doing. Uh, Mac, uh, electromagnetic uh, analysis from the side channel information. Side channel is what? Side channel is the side information in the uh, byproduct byproduct that uh, uh, occur or byproduct of the transaction that we do inside the chips inside the computer. So from the micro micro level, computer is exposed to attack and security issues. So, uh, you know, uh, the Intel processor is being attacked from the cache, side channel attack, cache from the just a cache prediction. Oh, so this is so detailed in the computer system. However, you can, you can, uh, you can, uh, study the, uh, spectra meltdown, the, the virus, the virus called spectrum, spectra and meltdown that are targeting Intel cache uh, replacement and cache prediction algorithm. So this is all the side channel. Side channel means the 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 attack 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 information not directly from the operation but indirectly. Indirectly from the operation. What is the result of the operation? What is the byproduct of the operation? The attacker read that, uh, analyze that and produce a uh, security analysis and uh, create uh, tools or uh, introduce the security flaws that can have huge impact to the system. So uh, I just want you to imagine what happened if everything is connected. Every server is using uh, unknown, not unknown, uh, really uh, unknown for for the people like me, for the people that have uh, experience in the security. Uh, uh, longer you are in the security, uh, you 
cannot just simply say that this system is secure. So you can imagine when the thing become very pervasive and with the pervasiveness uh, in Malay it called menyebar. When the computer system is so pervasive, menyebar, in, in the spoon they are cheap, in your cup they are cheap, in your watch they are already cheap, in, the, in your uh, spec, uh, specs they are already cheap, in your shoes, in your uh, dress clothes are cheap. So you can imagine what is the degree of disasters that can happen when everything is being intrude or being compromised. Okay, so this is uh, so uh, so that's why uh, the cybersecurity is not a easy thing, not a simple thing, but we need to take it seriously. Okay, so um, but for the four point zero plus, the I want to. I want to change some angle. I want to add some angles uh, to the security because security is to security meant to be uh, safe, uh, control our asset. So with the pandemic, with the pandemic, so the not only cyber physical issue, they are, they are also cyber moral issue. They are also cyber moral. So because the people are exposed to internet world, 24 7 the kids are exposed to the internet world 24 7 so this is not only can uh affect the physical asset data or data it also can affect the moral so this is another angle of cyber security that we need to secure uh to ensure that this pandemic and this revolution not bring us backward not bring our kid backward but uh, with the internet uh, or cyber world, it will bring our generation better. So I have for example, I expose kids to almost 24-7 internet exposure. Unguided home-based learning will expose the kids to uncontrollable access to online materials. So YouTube or Google surfing, uh, online game, uh, and material. So this is the moral issue that also is a cyber security issue. Defending asset as the protected item for security, the generation moral security is also a main concern in a post-pandemic environment. So this is the 4.0 plus that I, I mean that you need to also secure the, the moral that exposed to the wild cyber world. Okay. So, uh, since we are interfacing with the use or interfacing or use the cyber world very intense now, your human factor also uh, become the issues uh, that expose indirectly our asset to the cyber security attack. So 40% of employees have made mistakes that have compromised cyber security. Okay, this is the, the data that I, I take from the net. 30% workers rarely or never think about cybersecurity at, at work, sure, this is logic. 52% of uh, employees make more mistakes when they're stressed, while 43% are more error prone when tired. So we are we are back to back meeting online. 58% have sent an email to the wrong person at work and one in five companies lost customers after the employee sent the misdirected email. This is the human factors that we also need awareness and education to to overcome the this cyber security problem okay uh younger employees are, are five times more likely to make a mistake 93 percent of employees are stressed and tired 57 of employees are being driven to distraction and 41 thought phishing email were from someone they trusted so this is the human factors that that are also uh will give some threat to our society and finally cyber scam and cyber, cyber scam so since january uh 2020 11 million have been lost due to scams this is some side effect of the cyber cyber security that uh, comes with the revolution 4.0 and plus with the pandemic so as a conclusion, so uh, I will conclude and after this I will open for Q&A from the, from the 
audience i will read the question and maybe we can uh, i can answer some of your issues and uh, question so i are from bezero bring great challenge in cyber security great challenge so we are always connecting we are go to the 5 uh, 5g and 6g we are connecting to uh, everything we are connecting to satellite and, and uh, starlink is coming high speed satellite is coming so we are uh, almost can connect to everything in the globe everywhere in the high speed in the high speed connection so this bring great challenge not only for the individuals for the families for the companies but more important for the nation for the nation so national sovereignty must be at first in defining cyber security for the nation so i urge uh, everybody to uh, uh, firstly the technical communities expertise in every area of cyber security must be intensified so we must go deeper in the cyber security the experts in encryption in the web uh, security in the database security in application security in the os security in the network security must intensify their research and the research by must be increased we need to add more research we need to do more research. we need to understand more we need to cooperate we need to work together because this is really serious issue that not only uh taking away our asset our data but can uh take also our culture and moral local security product must be used and improved from time to time so we need to start looking for the local security product that we 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 understand that that we develop that the product that come from our research so this is a must because uh the issue is not not uh simple this is serious issue that uh we need to uh we need to take care to together so uh finally i'm open for question so i want to i want to close my screen so i've talked around 20 minutes i think enough because the attention span for online learning is not so long i know uh, so uh, so i give back to, to nabila so any any comment or question okay okay thank you so much uh, mr saufi for the very informative talk for a very informative uh, sharing session okay we have one question Okay. Okay. Uh, is cyber security able to help to determine and to filter suitable content for intended age of children without parental monitoring? Because from as a parent, as a mother, okay, this is from my uh, experience, personal experience also. Okay, even though we filter the content in uh, the YouTube for kids, sometimes. Uh, ada juga terlepas pandang. Ada juga yang konten-konten yang tak berapa sesuai but it keeps uh, showing to our uh, kids. So yes, can yes, you... Uh, yeah. Uh, basically there are tools that can uh, filter some pornography and uh, some uh, not good uh, materials. However, uh, for example, uh, I see the kids kids uh, that are speaking in the YouTube. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? Three, four years old kid, five years old kid. So this uh, indirectly give some influence to our kids. So uh, itulah, uh, this is not uh, just a technical issue, but it's the other, other, other moral security also uh, involved in this. So we as parents, need to, we need to sacrifice and we need to uh we can use any tools to to control but it depend on our we are the teachers now we need to be we are we need to be teachers in the same time to guide uh and uh bersama-sama dengan orang lah bersama-sama dengan anak-anak orang in the their leisure time and uh we need to be more creative lah so this time we need to be more creative we need, we need to be more productive and we are we are need to cooperate more we need to be together we need to be together for our generation because uh you, you can imagine for almost one and a half years almost one and a half years we are in this pandemic so you can imagine uh the impact to the society 
not just children but when the when the mosque is closed the uh not only children the adult also too exposed to the digital world so so itulah uh, the effect lah negative effect so uh itulah beside the technical issue because there are two issues that we need to we need to have concern on it okay yes namila do you have other soalan tak okay one more uh, question uh recently everyone knows what happened about the issue in palestine right so we yes. know that Malaysia <laughs> successfully mm -hmm. attacked them mentally through media social. So do you think uh, they will be able to counter attack by hacking in Malaysia data center to get our data privacy or not? Uh, they will attack. So we need to define. So uh, this is, uh, like I said just now, this is a new battlefield they are open and free battlefield so uh we kita boleh terlampau ketakutan and so we need to defend ourselves we need to defend our country we need to learn we need to try we need to read more we need to defend our country so we cannot control them from we cannot stop them from attacking so uh we need to defend ourselves uh, and uh, we don't know, is it uh, they are already in? Okay. Maybe they're dekat alam. Maybe yeah. they're already inside. Maybe they're already inside. They are doing something. We don't know. We don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So this is how intelligent, how smart the, the war is it. Uh, so uh, but uh, for government, for big organization, for military, for intelligence, this is a very serious issue. Uh, and with the complexity of the cyber security, he much am I said just now. So uh, very challenging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. There. Okay, one, okay. We have we have one more question. Uh, from in Facebook page. Okay, is Mac OS more secure as compared to Windows? Okay. Uh, personally, I'm using Linux. I'm Linux uh, full timer. <laughs> I'm Linux full timer and advocates. Uh, so uh, for computer science uh, or electronic computer engineering student, I jokingly said said to them, "Using Windows is haram." <laughs> not uh, not uh, because I I encourage them to use Linux because uh, Linux is uh, open source. So when it open, so everybody can see the code. Everybody can modify the code. Uh, everyone can check the code, debug the code. So, Kevin Ong, your question, and is Mac OS more secure as compared to Windows? Yes. And although Windows do some linkage with Linux, uh, I don't know, I forget the, forget the, sub Windows WSL, if I'm not mistaken, Windows subsystem Linux. So, I still believe that uh, Linux is more secure, more freedom, and Mac OS, based on the Linux as a core, the Core kernel uh, of Mac OS is based on Linux, Linux kernel. So uh, yes, yes, Mac OS the best choice that you can merge between the functionality and the security and the development approach, uh, development. So yeah, but expensive lah. And, and Apple expensive lah, but uh, okay. Uh, and one more, uh, Nabila, the question got us to Kevin Ong too. Would like to know how you deal with your recent ransom attack and my, I know what's the best way to do it somewhere. Uh, it's just, okay, yes, yes. Uh, basically, uh, since the data is only a few simple sensor data, uh, and another type of database, another database that I store is uh, inside my database is simulated data. So I simulate the data. So the, there are no real values of the data. So I, uh, we are just ignore the attacker and uh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, we have format the system. We format the system, uh, change the way we deal with the data, change the way we send the data and we interact with the data uh, and change the security level also. Uh, so hopefully uh, we can, we can make our system more secure and hopefully we can also, uh, we will encounter more better attacker 
<laughs> kan. Okey, ah uh, okey ada soalan lagi Hamilah. Uh, from Facebook no. Okey, uh, Kevin Ong said thanks great sharing. <laughs> okey, welcome. Okey, heeh. Uh -uh. So, Mr. Saufi, thank you so much for the very informative and also interesting talk about cyber security for IR 4.0 plus. Okay, so now we know what does it mean by IR 4.0 plus. <laughs> so, hopefully the presentation will be uh, beneficial for everyone. Okay, and uh, thank you so much for uh, your attention. Okay, assalamualaikum. Okay, okay well, assalamualaikum. Thank, thank you also. You, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> okay, bye.